Right then, today I thought we'd have another look at a weapon that's going to be introduced with the Dragon's Teeth DLC for Battlefield 4. Today we're going to be using the Bulldog Assault Rifle. Now, this Assault Rifle is a little bit different from the ones that are already available in BF4, apart from the Scar L. And the major difference here is its higher rate of damage per bullet that this weapon actually deals. The Bulldog has a max damage at 12 meters of 34. It's got a higher caliber round, it's got the 7.62 round instead of the normal NATO round that's found in most assault rifles in Battlefield 4. And as I said, that puts it on par with the Scar L. We finally have another weapon that can compete with the Scar L in terms of damage output. Looking at some of the stats that we have available for the Bulldog and putting them in comparison to the Scar L within the game already. The Scar L has a rate of fire of 650 rounds a minute, whereas the Bulldog is at 700, which gives it a slight advantage in your sort of close quarters combat. And when you're aiming a little bit further away, it's going to give you a little bit of an advantage. I don't think 50 rounds per minute is really anything to write home about, but if you're getting down to the nitty gritty, it is going to help you in certain situations. If we tie that in with the 34 max damage at close range, 700 rounds a minute there, means that you can actually rip through people at close range. The only downside is, obviously, you only have 21 rounds in a magazine, and the reload time, at least the short reload time, is two and a half seconds, which is uh, quite a considerable amount of time, whereas the Scar L is only 1.8 seconds, so it's nearly a full second longer for you to get a new magazine into the weapon and carry on in a gunfight, which means even though you can rip through people at close quarters, then you really need to make sure that you're always going for the short reload. Because the long reload is 3.2 seconds, which is just massively long. And if you get caught out, you're just going to get killed instantly at close quarters. I found it's really beneficial to have a laser sight on there if you are going to be using this weapon in close quarters. It means it gives you just a little bit better hip fire accuracy and as I said with that 700 rounds per minute you are going to get some kills there. But it's the reload time, you really do need to make sure you're paying attention to how many bullets you've got left in that weapon because if you go beyond the 20 or the 21 bullets and you run out completely you're looking at a 3.2 second long reload time which just takes forever and in close quarters you're gonna get shot so you really need to make sure you're paying attention to how much ammo you've got left obviously from what i've just said you must have worked out that the bulldog is basically meant for medium to long range combat and it's there to deal a lot of damage and that's it does that extremely well it does, however, have a little bit of a recoil problem. Uh, it's got a 0.55 vertical recoil and then 0.3 side to side to the left and the right in terms of horizontal recoil. So this thing can bounce around a little bit. But as I say, if you've got the right attachments on there and you're going for the right targets, you're not really going to notice the recoil. Uh, it's just something that if, if you've used the Scar L before, you're going to know how the Bulldog actually feels. It's, it's no different, basically. I mean, the recoil values are virtually the same for both weapons. The, the Bulldog is slightly more vertical recoil happy, but you're really not going to notice it. But if you are sort of a user of the normal assault rifles, as I like to call them, like the M16A4 and the FAMAS, then you're going to notice that the Bulldog is just a little bit harder to use for you and it's going to take a little bit of adjustment but if you put in a bit of practice um, I'm sure you'll get there. Part of the reason that this weapon has a very long reload time is because it's a bulb up design. Uh, as you can see when you reload the, the cartridge goes in further to the back of the weapon so it takes a bit longer to reload but in that sense you do have quite good hip fire accuracy which is why I said to stick a laser sight on it. Uh, you can go round and get some really good hip fire kills. If you are stuck in one of those situations where you literally have to spray the weapon, then I don't think the Bulldog will let you down. As I said, inside 12 meters, you're looking at 34 damage. So really two, three, maybe even four shots at a maximum, and you're looking at downing an opponent as long as you're being accurate. Uh, the laser sight really does help out. Being a bulb up weapon, it's giving you quite good hip fire accuracy there. So maybe it's worth utilizing that if you're on a map like Operation Locker, for example. But, and it should work quite well within the Dragon's Teeth maps actually because most of those are going to sort of be uh, 
urban warfare maps. The only one I've seen, I've seen Propaganda, which I really like the look of, which is set in Pyongyang in North Korea. It's a little bit more open, which will allow the Bulldog to sort of take people down at longer ranges, but there are sort of stairways and tight-knit alleyways that you can see there as well. So having the laser sight on there may be beneficial all the time just to keep that thing on there in case you ever come into one of those close quarters situations. Now, so far, the Bulldog has been quite a good weapon to me. The only time I found myself being let down by this thing is when the target was moving at quite a distance. Basically, this thing's only got 450 meters a second bullet velocity, so it's not great for hitting people if they're running at long distances. Medium and close range, no problem. It doesn't really make a difference because they're so close to you that the bullet's already got to them before you've even thought about it. But at long range, it does let you down a little bit. Once again, if you can learn to lead your target properly, just like calculating for, for recoil or anything like that, then you'll be able to succeed with this weapon. It's just something that you need to make sure you're aware of if you are going to fire at people at long range. Especially if they've got something like an Ace-23, which has got massively higher bullet velocity than what you've got, then really you do just need to pay attention of that. You can still succeed, but just make sure you're aware. So overall, I'm really impressed with the Bulldog. I really like it as a weapon. It's not really something I would use on a regular basis. I'm one of those guys that prefers to use the assault rifles with really high rates of fire. In fact, I really like just using the carbines. The ACWR is one of my favorite weapons in Battlefield 4. Uh, so it's not really a weapon I'd invest a lot of time into, but if you're familiar with the scar L and you want a slight change of pace, a little bit more of a challenge, or you just want to go and unlock some service stars, this thing is perfect for you. But that's about it for today's video guys, so thank you very much for watching. There's a link to my review of the CS5 sniper rifle with a little bit of Deagle gameplay in there as well. There's a link in the description for that, so if you do want to go and watch that today, it's down below for you. But if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit like and leave all your comments down below today, they're all appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.